Hello everybody and welcome to Obscurities in Miniature and it is time once more for our weekly painting progress. Now I'll admit I didn't get a whole lot painted this week but you know some weeks are just like that. I did however manage to paint a very varied eclectic mix of pieces so without further ado we will show off my test test run for one of the Dark Age Irish from War Games Atlantic. Excuse his poor design choice on his shield. I went very simply because I wanted to get one painted just to see how he would turn out. It turned out pretty decent. We are going to put some grass on that base because, you know, if he is supposed to be Irish and Ireland is quite green, it only would be fitting to actually have some greenery on that base. So hopefully I started up a whole bunch more of those guys and hopefully we'll have them done soon. All right, what is next for our rather eclectic mix here? A mini crate Legends of the Five Rings Samurai, specifically from the Lion Clan. I believe this is Akoto Totori. Totori? Totori. Totori. Yeah, that wouldn't be right, but anyway. I tried to paint them up in pretty uh, standard lion colors. But I figured his armor should be black. Nice sculpt. Swords feel a little short. But again, the biggest issue for me is the fact that these things are just so hard to come by. If you didn't find out about it when they were on their pre-order phase, then good luck. You will never get them again. Yeah. I dig privateer stuff. I'm just not a fan of how they do that and I really wish they would offer like some limited runs kind of like how GW does their you know made order type deals all right continuing with our truly random mix I found one of the firehawks I believe they were called from wrath of kings for the naysayer this dude's mask was an absolute mess everything else was pretty decently cast but that mask was just a tragic garble of lines so I tried to make best with what I could actually see. And the results are satisfactory, I guess? I probably should have painted up the trident as well, but oh well. Not the end of the world. He barely fits on a 30mm base, too. He's quite tall and imposing. Just to give you a good idea. Of course, Wrath of Kings is kind of at its own scale anyway. Speaking of big and imposing, uh, we printed out one of Comet Lord's models, because we seem to do that a lot here, and I don't even remember what this dude's supposed to be. Is he a paladin, dark paladin, judge, executioner, Sauron type stand-in? Well, you know what? He's probably all of those things and more. He's whatever you want him to be. And he's pretty tall. Grabbing one of Comet Lord's humans, his old Crimson Hunters, which have been upgraded and snazzed up and we'll, we'll probably have a whole video on them later once I get around to finishing printing all of the ones that I would like. But yeah, uh, I want to say also, one of the cool things I've noticed with Common Lord is he's been offering not only variations, so I want to say there's a masked version and an unmasked version, but then there's various poses, but then he went and started making busts of a lot of these models. So if you're into painting larger busts of figures, heads and shoulders, knees and toes and all that, uh, a lot of these actually have that option. So it's definitely worth checking out if that's what you're into. Okay, what else? Another random printed figure. This was from Titan Forge's sister Patreon Cyberforge. I had to think about that for a sec. This is one of their Oni Bruiser type dudes. And I'm not sure what I did with the back there. I wanted him to have red skin. He should be an Oni after all. Print came out pretty nice other than the spots that I did not do a good job of removing the supports from. But you can't win them all. Alright, a very rushed and hurried Holy Mage from Kingdom Death. I'm not happy with the thigh or the eyes, but everything else seemed to turn out alright. And surprisingly, I haven't broken the ends of her cape, cloak, shawl, whatever it is thing going on there. But I mean, at least she's painted. Her face is painted. Some of the details actually still came through. 
and it fulfills my quota of actually trying to catch up with my Kingdom Death backlog. And then finally, the last figure that I painted up this week is one that I have been waiting to do for a long time. Uh, so long, I don't remember what this guy is called now. He is from Zombie Smith and their War of Ashes, which is their crazy, evil, violent, Muppet mass combat game. That's the only way I can describe it. It's, it's like literally evil Muppets. Cutesy Muppet things. He's got the skulls of a bunch of them. And this is quite large for the game. There's a lot that are actually closer to 15 millimeter almost, or much smaller than 25 millimeter. But he is on a 40 millimeter base. He's just a big one. He's supposed to be a big, giant type. So as you can see, it wasn't a whole lot of stuff I got painted this week, and a lot of it is because I just can't get myself motivated enough at times to continue to paint. Because let's face it, uh, myself and probably a lot of you guys out there are probably in similar situations where, you know, just to be safe, we're not having those face-to-face -face games, you're either playing online, or you're just not playing at all, and so, unfortunately, the motivation isn't always there, so I was talking with my brother, and he was having the very same issue, he was like, I just, you know, I like painting, I enjoy it, I've got so much stuff to work on, and I keep printing crazy amounts of stuff for him, and anything I don't want to print or paint immediately, I pawn off on him as well, so I told him, you know what, start painting your stuff and I will have to show it off on here. So uh, he took me at my word and he started getting back into the groove of things, which I am happy to see. So this is one of Barzam's pieces. This is a Papsicle uh, cyber paramedic for lack of a better term. He quickly did up. I enjoy his painting much more than mine. Maybe it's I'm more critical of my own paint faults than his and this is a anvil drone operator this was another printed one I think he printed these bases yeah that's an FDM base this one was printed however this one was not this was part of their regiments line and if you've never checked out anvil's regiments everything is just totally modular and you can build and design to your heart's content and they are the perfect scale oh check that out if you want to start mixing and matching with like war games atlantic stuff if you want to fiddle around maybe with some of makers cult stuff if you want to get really weird you could probably do something with some of the north star oathmark models frostgrave models Oh, hey, look at that. It's really good match in size. So, yeah, if you never checked out Anvil's actual resin line, do give it a look. They got some cool stuff. All right, so what else? I'll, I'll get all everything on display here. Ah, another Anvil piece. This was from their Daughters of the Burning Rose. I believe this is the Executioner. I could be wrong. It certainly looks like it. This was like their not sisters or sisters adjacent army. Ah, she's on a 40 millimeter base. Looks good. And then this one I recognize because I printed it. This is a Maker's Colt Feudal Guard Ab Human. So if you've ever wanted to have a very knightly set of guardsmen or heck if you just want a super customized kill team yeah I like the red shoulder I know where that's going so between the two of us not a bad haul in the end let's get everybody on parade here Maybe zoom it out a little bit we can just see what we got going on here So I guess this week I'm going to win in terms of numbers, but I will concede quality to him, and we will see then what next week holds. Hopefully more Kingdom Death for me, definitely more Dark Age Irish from War Games Atlantic, and I don't know what for my brother, but hopefully a nice amount as well. With that said, hopefully all of you are staying safe, staying healthy, and staying busy painting. 
This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.